morning. Good morning, dear. It's 5.30 in the morning, you guys. And this little munchkin is awake because he had a full diaper and his clothes leaked. I mean, his diaper leaked on his clothes. And, of course, as always, when you see him, he's got the hiccups. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, he is definitely awake. And Joey here, poor little sweetheart, he's got a fever now. I didn't even check his fever, but he's hot. And he's all, like, shaky and weak. Oh, he woke up asking for water, obviously. Oh, my goodness. And then I got sick. No, you got sick yesterday or even the day before. Yeah. Okay. I got you, baby. So I have no idea what today is going to be like. It's looking pretty good. Glim right now. So yeah, um, I am definitely tired. I went to bed like at midnight after the boys, and I only had like what five and a half hours of broken sleep. And it looks like one of my boobies has to be pumped. Obviously, not gonna happen to right now. I wish Danny went to bed same time as we do or something very close because he goes to bed really late and I don't like it for many reasons but one of them right now is when this happens or when I wake up in the morning and um, the baby is awake, wants to be held, wants to be nursed, my boobs are exploding. They need to be pumped and the kids are asking for food or or just anything. I can't, you know, I can't do it all. So I wish that he was going to bed with us. So we could wake up in the morning together and we could work like a team. Like a team. Oh my gosh, yeah. This baby looks so much older to me than two weeks. You don't look like a two week old. Not at all. <laughs> what do you look like? Do you look like three years old, Joey? Yeah, do you look like maybe like a baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like one years old? No. no. <laughs> like two years old? No. Like, like Avi? Like three years old? Good, very good. <laughs> good morning again. Now it's 9.30, believe it or not. I probably look the same. <laughs> so I had a few more hours of sleep that was incredibly broken up. This baby? was fussing the whole time he was like making so many noises and like pooping noises you know mama yes joey look so gabe doesn't have a fever but he has like this occasional cough not a wet cough but like a just a cough hey baby and Joey, of course, is still fevering. I don't, I don't know what the heck he needs. And I want him to go to sleep so that I can go and eat some breakfast already. I'm starving. Who's hungry? You hungry? Okay, at least the kids are not hungry. It's just me then. Oh my god. I can't walk. 
is your pan. I walk. I'm so tired. Then why can't you walk? Why I think I'm, instead of feeling better with every day, I think I'm, it's, it's, I'm in reverse now. I'm starting to feel worse every day. I'm usually optimistic and may sometimes like, not like too positive because I can definitely be negative. Ask my husband. <laughs> but I feel like sometimes I think too positively. Like, like I forget the reality of like having a newborn and how demanding they can be and and this, I'm not just dealing with a newborn here. I'm, I'm also, you know, working with two kiddos here. And I don't know how moms do it that have more kids than I do. That sounds like a lot of work. Seriously, especially if the kids are closer in age and they're still all young. Yeah, that's like crazy stuff. So yes, I want this little munchkin to fall asleep so I can go um, and make me breakfast. I don't know what to eat. I am completely blank. I might make me scrambled eggs and maybe throw in uh, like chopped bell pepper. Maybe tomato. I don't know. I want something a little bit different. Breakfast accomplished. Hi, sweetie pie. Hey. How are you? Doing good. You're still doing good. So classic of him to say that. He's not feeling good. He wants to lay with me, be held by me. Um, yeah. See? <laughs> so I made some breakfast. Yay. Breakfast accomplished. Very good. It's um, mini bell pepper or like sweet bell pepper. Um, brown rice noodles, leftover noodles. I put the egg in there and then salt and pepper and chopped tomato. That's it. That's what it looks like. Everything. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy my breakfast here. Mama, you got tomato to the butter? To the blender? Did you say to the blender? He would normally um, be nibbling off my plate. He likes to just um, pick out what he likes, but today he doesn't want to try anything. Mm -hmm. Totally good. You want some? You want noodles, maybe? Maybe no. egg? No? Hmm. hmm. There, it's noon. <laughs> okay, so I finally feel a little bit more human. I did get like two hours of a nap. Oh, very needed indeed. So let's see, I'm warming up um, like this Angus beef patty for Gabriel. He said he's starving and he wants some meat. I guess that's a good sign if he's hungry, right? Um, and I am going to have some dandy blend. Let's see, I wish I had coffee, but Danny makes coffee and I'm not sure how to make coffee. Hard, huh? It's not that hard to make coffee, but for some reason, I just, I like when he does it. So. Um, plus he like knows exactly how many scoops and he always makes like eight cups of coffee in a coffee maker. I'm always like, why so much coffee? Oh my goodness. So if I was going to make coffee, I'd probably make like four. But then he'd be like, what did you make four? <laughs> so I'm going to look up this recipe. I want to make granola bars. Um, something I've done before. But. There. There's the recipe for granola bars. That's the granola bar recipe. I'm gonna make that today, hopefully. 
uh, the ingredients have been standing on the counter well the dry ingredients have been standing on the counter since yesterday and I want to make some um, so I have something easy to just grab and eat and it's sweet and nutritious so I need to make that because um, right now I have nothing tasty and then also um, I found a recipe for chocolate chip cookies I want to make that for the kids but I'm not sure if today is the right day for that because they are still not feeling well and I shouldn't be feeding them sugar so I think we're gonna have to wait on that until tomorrow soup would be the best thing for me to cook oh my gosh hi Gabe how are you doing C how are you good I'm gonna chase you with the camera Gabe, you're too fast. <laughs> there you are, sweetie. How are you feeling today, baby? Tell me, talk to me. Talk to me in the camera. Tell me how you're feeling. Good. You feeling better today? Mm hmm Yeah? No headaches? No. Excellent. That's good. I'm glad no headaches. <sighs> I remember I had a bad headache, like a big heart headache. Yes. It's hurting bad. Yeah, I do. Okay. So I'm going to go make my dandy blend and start my granola bars. Here's the granola. You mix all the ingredients together and then I just covered it with parchment paper, two strips like that. And then um, I pressed it real hard. So it kind of sticks together. Um, it worked in the past, last summer when I was making them, the, it worked, they worked. But there was one time that it didn't work and I don't know why. I seriously don't know why. Maybe I you replaced maybe honey for maple syrup. I have no idea. But this one I made exactly to the recipe and because it didn't work out that one time, I'm nervous that it's not gonna work out today. And I need it to work out. I really, really need it to work out. This little guy just wants to be held. Oh boy, it was gracious. Everybody needs mama. Yeah, so Aviva is still napping, which is excellent. And so yeah, I'm just gonna put these in the oven. My oven's preheating, and I'm gonna use my scissors to trim this paper off. It's not needed anymore. So yeah, and normally they are really, really good. So I really hope that they stick together and then when they cool off, I can, um, I'll put them in the fridge and then I will take them out and cut them with a knife into like bars. Yes, I will hold you. Somebody woke up just in time. Oh, look at you, sweetheart. <laughs> oh. The chef is cutting a watermelon. <laughs> the chef is cutting a watermelon. <laughs> I'm getting watermelon. Oh my goodness. That was a sneeze. This is after a sneeze. Ooh. Math. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Tomato. Tomato face. Oh my gosh, what did you do? Oh my goodness. He's like, watermelon, what? Just give me the boo. That's what the baby mama. Try it? Thank you. I'm gonna try this watermelon. Oh, yummy. Mmm. Mmm. You're not baking nothing and it's all. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I, oh, wait. Please put it in and put it for um, uh, 17 minutes. Uh huh. Somebody is leaving. Trying to get dinner ready. Um, I'm making. Um, drumsticks with just salt and pepper and butter that's about it man that's about it um i was just nursing aviv i tried to put him in a moby wrap and he is being a little cranky 
he is not tolerating any of that very well right now and it's a bummer so Danny is holding him and of course Danny's been helping me out all day long and he's unable to get any work done but um I'm sure he's gonna grow out of it eventually um, so yeah I gotta put some salt and the pepper on these giant drumsticks they almost look like turkey drumsticks oh my gosh they're huge and they're natural all natural no antibiotics no hormones so they look like they might be on steroids well not quiet but anyway that'll be good so i'm preheating the oven and i'm gonna get this done cover in foil and let them go for an hour and then danny will be making mashed potatoes so yeah can't wait for yummy dinner i miss food like good food not just snacking all day long oh and look these are my bars i didn't cut them i just broke them into pieces i just couldn't deal with that i was just breaking pieces and eating them and i ate a lot um of them they are so delicious seriously i should probably post the recipe um on the bottom so you guys can try that i found it online somewhere and i i don't even know who to give the credit to but i found it online and it's really really good you can use any nuts you want, but I basically followed the recipe um, and I used cranberries in this recipe. You will, just a little bit later, okay? But it's gonna die. And then we'll charge it. I'm done. You're done? Mm -hmm. Okay, then um, Gabriel wants to play it, okay? Here, sweetie. Say thank you, Joey. Thank you, Joey. All right. Baby, just get a blanket, sweetie. So I'm folding laundry now, and it's gorgeous outside. It's super, super, super sunny right now. And while Aviv is uh, napping, I have to take care of this laundry because I'm making more. Then he's like, oh, don't worry about it. I'll just pull out what I need from the couch. I'm like, hell no. I have to fold all this. I can't, I can't function like that if there's like piles and piles of who knows what. I'm the first pile. Okay. <laughs> Sweet little Joey wants to be carried and he wants me to spend time with him on the couch because that sweet little munchkin has a fever. I just checked and it's 100.8. So that's what's happening around here. And we're making dinner. Dinner's almost done. Actually, it is done. It's basically waiting for our bellies. Good night, everyone. We are definitely off to bed. Sweet dreams.